In this video, we will feature Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, HDMI mirroring and camera operation for the Cadillac SRX 2010-2012, as shown on the Cadillac CTS. The Cadillac CTS and SRS have identical screens and identical installations. In this video, Apple CarPlay. Mode. Once in an interface mode, go ahead and press CarPlay. CarPlay is appearing on the screen. This 100% original CarPlay, just like found in any other car that is 2018 or newer. You get full touchscreen, just like would be in 2018 Cadillacs. Everything is controlled through the original touchscreen, and we're going to show you how everything works. In this video, Android Auto. Android Auto demo. Press and hold top left of the screen to enter the Android Auto or the interface. Click here, and you enter in the Android Auto. In this video, HDMI smartphone mirroring. And you have your HDMI. HDMI mirroring is very easy. Just like in your home TV, whatever you connect to HDMI, you will see on your car screen. In this video, camera operations. Cameras can be operated automatic or manually. In the interface mode, press and hold top left of the screen, and you got four camera inputs. This is a two-part video. Part one is product demonstration. Part two, product installation. Nav tool established in 2002. See description below video for product information. Must expand description section if watching this video on a mobile device. This is a demo of iPhone or Android smartphone mirroring with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto plus four camera inputs. Interface is compatible with Cadillac CTS years 2008 to 2015. This interface does not replace factory radio or factory screen. This interface enhances the factory screen with features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, HDMI mirroring, and extra cameras. All factory features work the same as before. This interface is see-through, meaning the vehicle does not detect that the interface is installed in the car. This product is made and manufactured in the United States. Please support American jobs. This product is a 100% automotive grade product. Apple CarPlay feature of the interface. Apple CarPlay demo. Set the radio to auxiliary. On top left corner, press and hold for a few seconds and it's going to switch into the interface mode. Once in an interface mode, go ahead and press CarPlay. CarPlay is appearing on the screen. This 100% original CarPlay, just like found in any other car that is 2018 or newer. You get full touchscreen, just like would be in 2018 Cadillacs. Everything is controlled through the original touchscreen and we're going to show you how everything works. This button returns back into your menu. This button obviously gets out of the menu. Press and hold to re-enter the menu. Now, when you're in here, and if you accidentally switch by using the audio button on the panel, you can switch back to auxiliary. And so, when you basically connect the phone, the phone is going to connect. Apple CarPlay is going to get recognized by the phone. It takes just a few seconds, just like in any other car. Apple CarPlay appears on the phone screen. Apple CarPlay is booted, and you go into the Apple CarPlay mode. So now, Apple CarPlay will always stay on. It doesn't matter even if you want to get out and watch camera, or if you want to get out and let's say you want to enter, adjust something at factory, and go back into the, the interface, the Apple CarPlay will be ready for you. You got your three recent applications here. So we got the phone calling, tune and radio, and maps. If you go into your phone settings, because we have a lot of applications, and you go into your general, and then you go into CarPlay, you can rearrange the icons. So in your menu, you have all your icons, and you can rearrange them any way you like. So if you want, let's say, maps to be the first ones, go ahead, switch, and the maps, once you press down, it's going to be um, the first on the screen. Okay, so if you want to move the maps into the third location, third location, first location, first location. If you want to bring some of the other apps to the front, let's say you want to have Google Maps, you know, on some other app, or you can click reset, 
reset home screen layout and it's going to reset so I want phone maps messages so you have an ability to rearrange icons any way you like you can swipe to switch the screens but there's a faster and easier way which is you see those dots so if you press on the bottom right it switch to the right you press on the bottom left it, no, I press the home button by accident but press on the right screen swipe to the right left swipes to the left super responsive if you go into the phone and let's say um, let me just show you let's say you want to dial the number right look at the response of how responsive the screen is two one two five 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 one two one two no lag no anything everything works just like it's supposed to all right let's say you want to listen to the radio or you want to change the station your tuner radio is right here recent application you press go into your favorites select anything you want to hear you can click now playing and see what is already playing so we got planet perfecta playing already station you can use the volume from the steering wheel make it louder or here make it louder or lower you can also say hey Siri Siri comes up and you can tell her whatever you want basically it's gonna ask you you know let's do it hey Siri pizza one option I found is Ray's Real Pizza, which averages three stars and is moderately priced. So basically, everything works just like original. You have now playing on the home screen. Whatever audio apps you're running, when you press on here, it's going to take it to your app. You can pause it. You can play it. Now, one important thing to remember, Apple CarPlay exists only inside your phone and your phone only. It does not exist anywhere else. So, which means today, 20 years from now, it will always work the same because all updates happen inside your phone only. They do not happen anywhere else. So, basically, if Apple decides to add 20 more apps, you will get 20 more apps that same second. Today or 20 years from now, you never have to worry about updating anything here everything updates inside the phone when it's updated in the phone instantly it works here there is nothing to do as long as Apple in business and they have CarPlay this will always work the same and you don't have to worry about updating anything iOS 13 iOS whatever version comes out it's automatically here so you know you got um, Google Maps you go into your Google Maps obviously you have um, your settings and you can change layouts and everything this is carplay just like in 2018 car no different uh, let's get out of here and let's go into ways can touch the screen today so ways is loading ways has loaded up on the screen and you can click over here on the bottom right and you can do police accidents so if you want to report police for example you can send a report if you want to do if you want to send an accident you can send a report so everything is just like original you know you can do the voice controlled if you want to so what it's listening to now take me home I don't know oh, I doesn't have my home address so but it's all 100% like original if you want to call someone again you got your favorites recent contacts keypad voicemail you can call directly from the thing you can hang up directly from the thing uh, you have the microphone I mean CarPlay supports all the apps that you know Apple support I got five pages of applications so we got the regular apps from Apple which are phone Apple Maps messages now playing go back to get out of here audio books and then we got a bunch of apps so we got two radio station apps we got Amazon Music, Audible, at bat Audio Books, Audio Boom, Dash Radio, Free Books. We got Google Maps, and you can put it on the front page if you like. We got iHeartRadio, Radio, Mixcloud, NPR Radio, MyTuner Radio, NBA, NPR One, Overcast, Pandora. I got Play Music Radio, Disney Radio Haven, uh, Radio.com, Slacker, Soma, Spotify, Stitcher, Tuner Radio, Waze, WhatsApp. 
So basically, everything that Apple approved as an app, so if tomorrow they approve new app, instantaneously it's going to work here. You don't have to do anything. Apple CarPlay only exists inside your phone and nowhere else. Everything is here. All the updates happen here. Everything only here. So basically, you got the same Apple CarPlay that would be found in 2018 car. You got the same experience. Technically, you never have to go back into your original stuff. You got your audio. You got your radio if you want to listen to the radio. So basically, that's everything is everything you need is here. You want your ways, you go into your ways. You want to get out of the ways and you want to choose any other application. You want to go into Google Maps, your Google Maps, everything. You never have to go into your radio, into your factory menu because everything you need is here. You can control the volume. You got all your applications, so pretty much um, there's no reason to get out of here. You start your car, press and hold top left of the corner, get into the Apple menu, and that's it. You can put your iPhone anywhere you want, and you're enjoying CarPlay, and whatever apps are available, you know, they're going to appear here. So, Pandora, if you use it, Spotify, if you use it, everything is here, and all the apps, you know, this is how CarPlay works. So, a lot of people don't know that, but watch this. You see, this is my home screen. If I was to launch an app, Say tuner radio, see tuner radio launches right on my phone. If I would press home, it would take me home. If I would launch app, it would take me here. And basically the interesting part is if you use Waze, they give you a special menu on the screen of the phone. And you cannot wait use Waze on the phone anymore. Just give you that special Waze screen and everything is from here. I don't know why they do this usually apps don't for safety reason because Apple wants you to be safe but you got true CarPlay experience with all the features if you're driving you want to report the traffic go ahead moderate traffic and submit it want to report traffic go ahead stand still and submit it you want to report hazard on the road construction go ahead and go ahead and submit it everything is just like original there is no difference and that's it. You just go ahead and enjoy it. And if you want to quickly, you in ways you want to quickly change the radio, you go back and you want to do local radio station and you want to listen to something else. Let's say, you know, uh, this station, you go ahead. You're already listening to a different station. That concludes the demo of the Apple CarPlay. Android Auto feature of the interface. Android Auto demo, press and hold top left of the screen to enter the Android Auto or the interface. Click here and you enter in the Android Auto. In Android Auto mode, you got your get out menu, so click this twice. Return to, this gets out of this menu so you can get out into the main menu and let's say, you know, watch your left lane, watch camera. Press to go back in. This is your home screen where you got all your stuff this is your audio app so whatever audio application you have here this is going to be playing and you will hear it through your car speakers so you can go ahead and press play press pause press play you got your menu so if you got other applications they're also gonna work okay over here you got your maps and you can choose between Google Maps and Waze so if you press on the maps, you got your uh, ways right now. It's your ways application. You got all your menus here. Over here, you can press and you can do anything you like. So if you want to report police, you press to report police visible or hidden. So you want to report visible police, it's going to report. You got your traffic, crash, cameras. You know, you can report your hazard. You got all your options just like, you know, ways on the phone that you use. Keep in mind, Android Auto exists only inside your phone. You never have to worry updates or anything else. 100% of it is inside the phone. You can go back to your home screen or if you're in maps and you want to change, 
you go ahead and you change to Google Maps and you can have Google Maps right on your screen you got all your Google Maps menu over here and you know it's all here updates or anything all in here and when they release an update it's gonna automatically go into here so basically all the apps so right now you got a choice between Google Maps or Waze if you have Android you can use either one of the application you got your audio apps whatever application you install so if you install other applications here by pressing this button you can have more applications you got your weather and home stuff in here and then you got your phone calling and stuff so basically you press you can dial the number two one two five 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 one two one two Keep in mind, unlike CarPlay, Android Auto requires for the car to have Bluetooth. So if you don't have Bluetooth, you'll have to install a Bluetooth device in your car. Because Android Auto calls only through vehicles existing Bluetooth. And for that reason, you will need to have one. So if you want to listen to your music, again, all your controls work. Play, pause, probably, I don't know if they have a next song, but... As a demo, it's probably like one song. Yeah, just one song as a demo. So, this pretty much concludes the demo. Uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is identical to any car. Just like in 2018 Cadillac, you would have Android Auto. It, this is the same thing. You get same Android Auto in this car. There is no difference, basically. 100% just like original controls through the card ahead. screen and uh, you never ever uh, have to pretty much use original stuff anymore you got everything you got your two navigations Android Auto or Waze uh, I mean you got your Google Maps or Waze you got all your applications as far as audio applications go uh, you got your phone calling uh, you never have to get out and out of this menu you get into the car you press top left of the screen get into the menu and that's it and if you want to get out out of this menu press this twice let's say you want to check out your you know right camera right there's your right camera and then you want to quickly get back into android auto right there you get into android auto you can go into favorite apps and listen to your music spotify google play or any other application that you may have and uh one thing again to remember all apps are here so if Android Auto allows more applications they're automatically going to transfer here if there's gonna be more navigations they're gonna be transferred here more music apps they're gonna be transferred here so everything that they will have will all be transferred here so if you have an Android phone and if you have two phones Android Auto or iPhone you can connect either one and it will automatically appear that concludes the demo of Android Auto HDMI mirroring feature of the interface HDMI input smartphone mirroring demo. Press and hold top left of the screen. We're going to enter the interface and you have your HDMI. HDMI mirroring is very easy. Just like in your home TV, whatever you connect to HDMI, you will see on your car screen. So, what do we have? We're going to show you a couple of different applications. Just connect to your phone. The phone's synced up to the screen. And um, we're going to basically show you depending on a phone so you press HDMI your entire phone is is mirroring so instantaneous you can do Android or iPhone we're showing you iPhone but HDMI is HDMI you can go on to Netflix you can play Netflix Netflix is going to appear on the screen keep in mind one thing all new iPhones look at this double tap you see it changes here and there that's how mirroring works whether you connect to your home TV or anywhere else you zoom out it's gonna zoom out you zoom in it's going to zoom in you can do Netflix you can do Hulu you can do direct TV whatever else you have so I actually have a direct TV application direct TV so if you have direct TV and you're hanging out and you have nothing to do you can go ahead and play your direct TV. So you got your movie right there on the screen. You got full screen movie and it's playing.
stakes couldn't be higher. Every state, every seat, every port. Join Lester Holt, Savannah Guthrie, and Chuck Todd. So, look in some commercial, you can change the channel. There's going to be a cartoon right there. Change the channel again. Nickelodeon. Change the channel again. So basically, if you have like any of those TV applications, you have TV on your screen. And see, as I keep changing the screen on the app, change to change it here. See next channel. You see it's black here because it's playing there. Next channel. Next channel. And keep in mind, it's all in HD quality. Next channel. Next channel. So now you have TV in your car, basically. Without back-in-the-day TV tuner, this is modern-day TV. But only when forced to get your audio through your car speakers. Who runs the world has thirteen hundred dollars As I'm changing channels, you see they load up and you can see them on the screen. I'm just going through random channels. And that we get to laugh about and cry about and I mean So basically uh, this is just like HDMI input in the back of your TV. But in the car you can use Netflix, Hulu, YouTube or any other TV application. So right there we got your TV app in the car. Geico. Fifteen minutes could save you fifteen percent or more on car insurance. What would make Sonic's Golden Soft Pretzel Twist a great meal? What? A cinnamon sugar pretzel twist after? And that concludes the demo of the mirroring application. Or HDMI input. Camera operation feature of the interface. Okay, how to operate cameras. Cameras can be operated automatic or manually. In the interface mode, press and hold top left of the screen, and you got four camera inputs. If you don't install any of the cameras, everything will work as before, just like factory. We installed in this car all cameras just for demo purposes. You don't have to install any of the cameras. Right lane watch camera. It is designed to see blind spots. We installed the camera. It's not adjusted to show anything. It's just there to show you the capabilities. So we have a right lane watch camera. You got right side of the car. You got lines. You can get camera with or without lines. And you adjust it any way you like to see the right side of the car. You can move it further out to see the whole lane. We're just showing you that it is possible to see. Right. You can quickly switch cameras over here on top. But this is your right lane watch camera. To get out to the main menu, let's say you want to go back to your car play, for example. You're going to press here. Now, it depends what you're trying to achieve. So we are going back into CarPlay, and that's what we want to see. But you're driving, and let's say you want to watch right camera, you just press right camera. As you drive, you just keep watching the right camera on the screen. Press in the middle to get out into the main menu. Now, left lane watch camera, same thing. Press the left lane watch camera, you got lane watch camera. You can get camera with lines, without lines, pointed anywhere you like. Typically, it's good to see the entire side. You put it, the camera in the mirror, under the mirror, and it shoots the entire angle just like the picture shows. And you're going to have a left lane watch camera. And again, if you want to get out and go back to the car play, right away, go back into the car play. Now, right and left lane watch camera can operate automatically with turn signals. Put the right turn signal on, right lane watch camera comes on, put the left turn signal on, left camera comes on. If you don't install any of the cameras, just ignore it and with the left and right turn signals nothing's going to change this is front camera we install the front camera again it's not adjusted you got some distance lines and front camera can as you drive you can watch it you can switch quickly between all your cameras or get out again and when you get out you can go into any other mode let's say if you want to go back into your car play or android auto or mirroring now, basically, front camera works for parking. When you put the car in reverse, 
if the factory aftermarket camera comes on when you put the car back into drive front camera stays on up to 10 miles an hour and then it automatically shuts off rear camera you got rear camera on the screen again you can switch through all the cameras very fast as you're driving rear lane watch camera or rear view camera actually in this case on the screen automatic in reverse if you have factory camera you will see factory camera on the screen reverse if you have factory camera and you want to watch it while driving you either a have to install another camera or b you have to rewire completely factory camera because it gets power only in reverse and you're gonna have to supply power to it constantly we give an RCA wire and a harness so you don't have to do anything up front but the camera itself have to be rewired if you wish to watch the factory camera while driving so again you got four camera inputs if you want to use it for DVD you can use one of the camera inputs for DVD and we can turn off all the text on the screen so rear camera automatic and reverse factory off the market front camera you can watch while driving or it will work out of reverse into drive up to 10 miles an hour left lane watch camera you got left lane watch camera and left lane watch camera you can watch while driving or with left turn signal right lane watch camera you can watch while driving or with the right turn signal to get out of the menu press the power button part two product installation step one vehicle disassembly using panel removal tool remove this wooden panel and this wooden panel once the panels come out this panel just pops open so you can get access to the two screws that are on the bottom over here let us show you this is a very simple task just take a panel tool insert it into any place you have insert it right here comes out so on the other way and it comes out it's very easy there's nothing holding them and then this panel just pop up shift the gear and then you have these two screws you can access because you're gonna have to remove this panel in the next step using removal tool simply remove the wooden panels that are found on left and right side of the screen of the panel simply take the tool and they simply pop right out they just have clips holding them in the back however keep in mind the panel on the right hand side after you remove you have to pull it to the right a little bit as you see they have two hooks but it's also just clips so just work your way through the entire panel to get it removed to remove the face plate simply remove those two screws that are found here once the screws are removed the face plate simply pulls out because there's nothing holding it there are no screws anywhere else and remove two connectors that are found here for the front one connector is here one connector for the cigarette lighter this removes the front fascia to remove the radio remove the four screws holding the radio and the radio will come out to gain access to the back of the connectors to remove the screen simply remove three screws one two three once you remove the screws the screen will simply come out and you can remove the connectors from the back of the screen once the screws are removed simply remove the radio unplug three screen three connectors from the back of the screen and the screen is removed the told this assembly is complete what's in the box now that we have radio removed let's see what's in the box we have the made in USA interface on the interface we got main connector that's gonna give you can data audio video inputs we got two digital connectors the one on this side that's the radio side so the radio and the one more towards the inside is the cable for the screen side now that we have radio removed let's see what's in the box we have the made in USA interface on the interface we got main connector that's gonna give you 
CAN data audio video inputs. We got two digital connectors. The one on this side, that's the radio side, so the radio. And the one more towards the inside is the cable for the screen side. On the other side, we have your HDMI input, we have your USB charging, and Apple CarPlay Android Auto port if you're installing Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Programming port, status LED, future use port. This interface comes standard with four camera inputs and HDMI input. We can also pre-install Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with touchscreen controls. So there's no separate box. It's all going to be all in one. We'll pre-install it inside for you, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto module. So you will have all in one interface and you don't have to connect two or three interfaces together. And it will work with factory touchscreen controls. So we got the main interface. Next, we have the harness for the main interface. The harness that plugs in into the main interface connector. So it plugs in right in here. On the main interface harness, you got four camera inputs, or you can use them for video. Two audio outputs that's going to be connected to the main harness, so you can have auxiliary audio in the car. You got 14 pin connector that is pre populated that connects to the plug and play harness. And you got 14 pin auxiliary connector that has just six wires in it. That is your microphone input. Then we have the harness for your microphone input. This is the harness for your microphone input. It has the remote input which you don't use, you only need the microphone input. We have the microphone itself. You got the microphone. The microphone mounts with the clip. You can mount it behind the mirror anywhere else. It has a clip and so it's discreet and it has a lot of wire. So you rod the wire, you're gonna rod the wire inside the ceiling. So your headline, you're gonna pull it down, you're gonna run it through the pillar under the dash and behind the radio, the wire is long enough. You put the clip in and basically, you're gonna, so your headliner, you mount this inside your headliner. So this goes inside your headliner basically and the wire is going to go up into the headliner so you don't see it you're going to put it behind the headliner's edge then you have the two digital cables the digital cables that connect in here they're both identical cables so it doesn't matter which one you use for radio screen they're both identical you just need to plug it into the correct ports here and then you have the main plug and play harness in a box with your audio inputs and everything else so this installation is 100% plug and play so now let's proceed to the actual installation step 2 product installation do not forget to program the interface all interfaces are stripped blank as they need to be configured by the installer or end user Programming process will take less than one minute and can be performed using Windows or Mac computer. How to update the software? It doesn't matter what you're updating, whether you're updating camera interface, video in motion interface, wireless mirroring interface, or Apple CarPlay interface. The process of update is identical. Updater works on Mac and Windows based PC, so we have for both Windows and Mac. To update, you need a cable like this, it's a standard cable. One end of the cable is micro USB and the other is a standard USB. This goes into the computer and the micro USB goes into the interface. Connect this end into the computer, Mac or Windows. Connect the other end into your interface you're updating. Again, any interface. Once the interface is connected, everything information is going to appear on the screen. And install 
desired software. Just for the test purposes, we're going to show you how to update it with uh, Cadillac CTS software, video in motion, and hit install. So now it's installing and shows you progress bar and a percentage. So it takes only seconds to update it. So you download the updater from the website for Mac or Windows. That's going to take you approximately 60 seconds. And then the update process takes only another minute or so. This is how to update the interface. So we're showing you the update process. And the entire process only takes less than a minute. Okay, the update process is done and it's 99%. It says do not disconnect. In about a second, it's going to tell you that it's complete and you can disconnect the interface. There you go. Device settings updated and you're done. So entire update process takes only about two minutes. You download software from the website for Mac or Windows, about a minute, and update takes another minute. And all you need is a cable like this. So USB cable to micro USB. First, let's install the microphone. So what you want to do is you want to take the microphone and you want to mount the microphone to the headliner. So let's go up to the headliner. Alright, so this is your headliner right here. And so what you want to do is you want to pull down on the headliner a little bit. We're going to show you right here. And this clip is going to go into the headliner, right? So you see, if you look at it, You look at the microphone you don't even see it anymore now the wire is going to go inside the headliner so you're going to pull down on the headliner put your wire through and then you're going to run your wire all the way through the headliner and then you want to bring it down the spiller all the way down and then you want the microphone the end of the microphone this end to end up over here behind the dash for you and you were going to plug it in into the main harness next step you want to take one of the digital cables and you want to plug it into the screen the factory cable you no longer need to use because originally you had this cable run from here into the radio now we gave you two identical cables so previously you think of it as they were like this right connected as a single cable something like this now the video is going to go into the box so into the interface so basically from the radio into the interface and out to the screen because the screen everything you see on the screen is in this radio we don't really care about this radio we're using the screen as a monitor to project the HDMI or Apple CarPlay Android Auto camera inputs. So at the end of the day, the screen is no different than the screen is found in your house. We're just giving you the inputs that are missing from the factory that are kind of found in the back of your home TV. So you want to take one of the cables, one of the two digital cables. They are both identical, so it doesn't matter which one you take. Take one of the two cables. You want to plug it in into the screen, and we're going to reinstall the screen we're never going to close the car full until we test everything, but we're going to slowly reinstall and start testing stuff. So we're going to take the screen and plug the, one of the cables that we supply with into the back of the screen. Got the port over here for it. And then black and gray also plug in in the back so blank gray also go back into the screen and then we want to reinstall the screen into its previous location and secure it with the screws that you previously removed 
So just secure with a couple of screws on the side so the radio screen does not fall out. And we got the cable run here, so. And just go ahead and secure it and that's it. Okay, that cable is installed, plugs are reconnected, we're going to continue. We're going to take the supplied plug and play harness, we're going to unplug the matching connectors, so we have two connectors like that, we're going to unplug them from the back of the radio, we're going to plug in the factory connectors into the matching female connectors of the supplied plug and play harness, and the male connectors of the supplied plug and play harness we're going to plug back into the radio. So it makes 100% plug and play installation. Okay, so back of this radio, let's go to the back of the radio. We need to install the main harness. So we need to move it out. Now you have a shifter here. If you didn't remove it, you want to protect the shifter with a piece of cloth. When you pull the radio out, you don't want to scratch um, the shifter. So you pull the radio out, and on this side of the radio, you'll find two matching connectors. You need to find these two connectors right here, gray and black square. So pull the radio out. They're on this side over here. One is on top, and one is on the other end. So you got one here and one here. So I'm going to pull everything out to show you, but you don't have to do that. So these are your connectors right there. So the black one, and then right there at the end is the gray one. Let me show you. Behind this black one is the gray one that you need. So you're going to take the second digital cable that we gave you, the blue one, and you're going to plug it in here. The factory one you no longer need to use. So you take the supplied cable plug it in. Take the supplied black square cable, plug it into the back of the radio. Once you plug it in, you have the other end and in here you're going to plug in the factory cable that you unplug from the back of the radio. Now, you're going to go ahead and take this one and you're going to plug it in here into the back of the radio. And then you have the other side left over and you're going to plug in the one that you unplug previously into the one that we supplied you with. So the only thing that should be left unplugged is this one. Everything else, whatever you unplug from the back of the radio, must go right in. So the antennas or whatever else you unplug must be plugged back in. So from the plug and play T harness, you have this left, this is your T off, that's going to plug into the main harness that we supplied you with. And the audio RCAs on the main harness that plugs into the interface are going to connect to the audio RCAs on this harness. You got two RCAs, those are your audio inputs. This is how you're going to hear audio through your car speakers from mirroring or Apple CarPlay Android Auto. So let's connect those together. So on the main harness, you want to open up the tie wrap that you have here installed. So you can open up the harness because you want to hide the module elsewhere. So you're going to open up the module harness. This end, where all the wires are populated, you're going to plug in in here to the T harness. Now, 
on the main harness plug that plugs into the interface you got two RCAs we also going to connect all four ca cameras while well, this car has a rear camera we're going to connect front left and right cameras if you're not connecting the cameras you don't have to worry about those RCAs but for the demo purposes of this video we are going to connect all the cameras so in that case you gotta run all your cameras to the module where somewhere in the dashboard you're going to plug in one and two so the audio RCAs and then the the two other ends plug in into the main harness one and two alright so that completes your installation we want to slide the radio back in and we're going to connect the interface and start testing also if you're planning to install the microphone we gave you this harness for the microphone on the main connector harness you got this little harness right here this is where the microphone is going to be connected so you want to plug in into this little connector right here so on the main harness you got this little connector this is where the microphone harness is going to plug in for the microphone and then the label that says right here it says microphone you're gonna plug in microphone in here alright so basically this is your connections and we're gonna slide the radio back and start testing everything only after you test everything you do a test drive and you know everything works only then you permanently close the car you don't want to start closing the car maybe something's not plugged in right something's not connected right you want to test everything 100 percent before you start closing the car so let's start sliding the radio back into its place you have plenty of space in the back after when you finish everything you can start doing beautification everything else neatly around the wires but for now we're just gonna put the radio back into its place so we can test everything out I recommend routing all the wires to the side so on the side behind the carpet is probably the best location for the module because the wires are long enough to drop down there through the openings and just have it sit there but for the test purposes we're gonna have everything sitting up front but that's where I recommend putting everything you stood at to the side over there on the right side you have enough space you can route your wire over here put into the side everything can go in there so I went ahead and routed all the wires to the right anyway they're right there they through this opening because I'm gonna put everything behind on the side behind the carpet and now we can sl slide the radio back into its place put the radio in don't forget this is your wire for the front panel do not hide it behind the radio this black with white connector this is the front panel connector slide the radio back in now the wire that I routed from the back over here through the front do not route it this way route it from the back to the side not route it from the front this is all for testing because I'm gonna remove it and make it all nice before we close the car but this is just for testing purposes so you know at this point it doesn't matter how it's routed we're gonna hide the wires in the back we're gonna push them through there's enough space so the radio can go in into its location and this way we can test everything out now we want to make sure that we connect everything right and that everything works so you're going to take your module you're going to plug in the main harness in here cable that's coming from the screen is going to go in here and cable that's coming from the back of the radio is going to go in here so let's plug it in main one we're going to plug in the screen side and then we're going to plug in the radio side after you plug everything in you might want to hear a sound like that or if, after ignition on you heard the beeping sound which means it's getting the data I want to put the ignition on and I want to see the screen come on. Now, if the screen does not wake up automatically, you want to reconnect the panel, shut the ignition off, reconnect the panel, put the radio on, bring on the screen. All right. Next thing, you want to start checking everything. You want to set the radio to auxiliary. Front auxiliary input is activated, so we did activate that. And once that activated, let me get it to, to the screen so you can see. All right, so let's focus on the screen. 
So front auxiliary is activated. Your car must have auxiliary for the auxiliary to be activated. If you don't have auxiliary, it's not to activate, obviously. But if your car has auxiliary, we will activate that for you. So aux is working. You want to press and hold top left of the screen for it to switch to the interface. So that's what we're going to do. But first, you want to set the radio to auxiliary because that's how you're going to hear the sound from mirroring or anything else. When you press and hold top left of the touch screen, the interface should switch over. If you have a factory review camera, put the car in reverse, see if your camera works. In this car, we're actually adding a camera. There is no factory camera, but we're going to show you when we install the camera. But particularly, um, what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold top left of the touch screen. And it's going to switch. Now you're in the menu of the interface. Keep in mind, one of the wires in our harness have a label cut if screen is blinking. If you switch and the screen is blinking, on our harness there's a wire, you just snip it in half. So now you want to test to make sure that everything works. You can plug in iPhone or Android, or if you're doing mirroring, you're going to plug in something to HDMI input, uh, or both, and your cameras. Um, keep in mind that this is the interface of the this is the menu of the interface to get out back press and hold here to switch into the interface press and hold top left corner now you want to switch to CarPlay if you have CarPlay or Android Auto if you have Android phone. You can use an extension cable like this to extend your USB from the interface. From here you can route it because you have everything open to inside your center console and then you can plug in different cables or you can just buy long uh, lightning cable like we did. Let me show you. We have a really long lightning cable. As you can see this cable is very long. This is a lightning cable because we're only going to be using an iPhone. This is a very long cable. Or if you're planning to use HDMI for mirroring, if you want to watch like YouTube or any other apps, also route HDMI inside your center console for factory look and feel. Or you can get one of these things. It's even better. We have them available. This is HDMI and USB 2-in-1 with very long cable. So you can see it has a super long cable, right? and you just install it this way you will have HDMI and USB can ins installed in your center console or drill it into drill into the center console and you will have it so we know that interface is working we can switch to the menu you can proceed to testing all the features the features testing obviously in the beginning of the video you have your CarPlay or Android Auto connected so in CarPlay mode you want to go on like tuner radio this is your recent applications you have a audio so you know it's all touch screen just like it would be factory let's go into music um, let's see let's go into podcast let's go to trending ABC radio doesn't matter And you want to make sure you hear the radio. So we can see the radio. About 30 seconds. Forward, forward. He's, uh, he's incredible, isn't he? And change the radio station. Um, Russian interference in the past. And we know it's an issue, but I don't understand why no one's talking about it now. So we know we have the audio from Auxiliary. From On Point sponsor, Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Introducing rate shield approval. So if you qualify, now we know that everything is working and we can go ahead and put the car together. And basically test the rest of the features. If you want to see the rest of the features, go back to the radio, but the installation is complete. Neatly put everything and um, reinstall. Reinstall your radio, reinstall the panel, 
hide the interface after you screw everything in, test everything one more time. But we know your installation is proper, we know we'll connect all the wires correctly, we know our audio is working, we know we can switch back and forth. And that completes our installation. Thank you for watching. Please click the logo on the left hand side to subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions work on smartphones, tablets, and computers. Please like the video and leave a comment. If you'd like to watch another video, please click the link on the right hand side.